Dublin against Porth. Portsmouth is the fitting fixture at the Valley in League One today. It's 25 years this week uh, that the two teams contested Charleston's return to their famous home in London, SE7. December the 5th, 1992, Charlton against Portsmouth and the Valley homecoming after seven years in exile. We changed in a, a very small porter cabin at the time, uh, which was situated in the corner here. Um, and we had a temporary stand for the, for the west stand and both ends were open, but the, the far side was pretty much sort of derelict still. Before the war, Charlton home gates were 70,000. Half a century later, the stadium was a relic, the fan base a few thousand. With no funds to maintain their home, Charlton had to go and ground share with Crystal Palace. Four years later, Charlton announced they wanted to go back to the valley. In came the fans to clear up the now overgrown and crumbling wreck, using the middle of the pitch for a bonfire. Something else went up in smoke too. Plans for a new ground, rejected by the local council. So fans formed the Valley Party. They got 14,000 votes and made the council change their minds. There was no immediate Valley return. Charlton had to ground share again with West Ham. They played at Upton Park while the new Valley took shape, with fans finally going back for that homecoming match with Pompey and on an afternoon high on emotion, they saw their team win by a single goal. Cleburne holding off Simons. Now for Pitcher. And now for Colin Walsh. Yes, it's the goal! It's the goal that the Charlton fans have waited for seven years. Yeah, the whole club was happy and everything like that. It wasn't that I thought that I'd, I'd never realised what I did. Like, now I, I realise what I've done. But not at the time. For the club to be celebrating the 25th anniversary, uh, whilst in this league is not something that I don't think we would have wanted, um, but we are. Um, but hopefully we're proud of what we're trying to achieve and how we're trying to turn it around. Who'd have thought what would happen in the quarter of a century since this match? Who knows when Charlton will get back to the Premier League, but at least they got back to the Valley. Jeremy Langdon, Sky Sports. It was 25 years this week since a homeless Charlton made their emotional return to the Valley. Club legends led the anniversary celebrations, but Portsmouth had come to spoil the party. Josh McGuinness's own goal arriving early in the second half as Pompey looked to close the gap on their hosts in sixth. Now no chance of Charlton repeating the 1-0 win over these opponents that marked their homecoming. In fact, when Brett Pittman was judged to have been fouled, their plight threatened to get worse. Pittman himself took the penalty, only for Ben Amos to ensure the scoreline retained a certain symmetry to the outcome back in 1992. There wasn't many faults in, in the in the grand scheme of things, but fundamentally we didn't take, didn't make chances for us to miss, and it sort of dried off a little bit, and we've not created as many chances what we did two or three weeks ago, um, and we need to get back to that. We've played them twice in, in the last month, and, and uh, they've, they've got different ways to play, they have a lot of very good players, and, and uh, I, you know, I'm sure we'll keep pushing, so for us to, to, to come here and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and compete with them is a, is a good effort.